What's up, everybody? Um, my name is Draylen, and um, I'm here with um, some awesome people. Um, they're here with me. I'm I'm here with them, and we're going to uh, have a good time today. Welcome to Dream Lab. Um, I'm here with Christian, and I'm here with Kevin. Um, these are <laughs> your co-pilots, and I am the captain. The pilot. Because I'm about to say, are we on a boat or a plane? <laughs> All right. It's a flying ship, everybody. It's a flying <laughs> ship. <laughs> My bad. You're the My bad. And I'm the captain. <laughs> it works, though, right? It does. You have a ground transportation and high heavenly. So a, a pilot isn't a captain? He's a pilot. Yeah. I've never heard them call a pilot a captain. I mean, Captain, somebody help me in the comments, Captain please. Captain Crunch, what is he on a boat? Oh, See, God. Captain Hook. That's before they had planes. Captain Hook, Captain Hook. Captain. Before planes. Pilots. No, because Peter Pan could fly, so I bet you they had. That's planes. magic, nigga. Magic. Magically fly on planes. Siri, can a captain fly a plane? <laughs> Okay, so you may be right. It says, and I'm not on crazy. an airliner, mm-hmm. I don't know why I called it an airliner. Mm-hmm. On an airliner, the captain is the pilot. Exactly. In the left seat. Exactly. Okay, Nigga, you're a pilot. Come on, captain. <laughs> here's, here's my thing, guys. Captain Dre. Um. Captain Dre. <laughs> Are you ready, kids? <laughs> he was yep. clearly underwater. See, I just, like, everything I hear about captain <laughs> is underwater. Okay. Oh. Go ahead. So. Pineapple. Sorry, go. Is that a safe word for some? Okay, go ahead, Dram. If you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't mean that, y'all. That was um partially awkward. Hey, everyone. Um, it's Dre here. Um, another episode of Dream Lab. I'm here with Kevin. I'm here with Christian. Um, and this is like my second intro. Um, I may keep the first one. Who knows? But in case it gets too crazy. Um, if you want the full intro, you just gotta, um, you know, add us on Patreon and, uh, subscribe. Then you can get all the crazy content, but make sure while you're watching this, you subscribe, you like, you share all that stuff. Comment, please tell us, you know, interact with us. We want to make sure that our YouTube page goes up. Um, and then, you know, Instagram and all that stuff, you'll be able to follow us all on all of our, um, individual handles. Is that the, is that the, the handle dance? Yep. I like it. (laughs) Already, we got a thing. So from now on, when you when you want to know their handles, we're the co-pilots, and he's the captain. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) Okay. Mm -hmm. All you hear is. (laughs) That's all you hear. Sorry. Okay. Let's get into it. What you got for us today, players? Um, wow. Um, that's enough. <laughs> Jesus. Um, no. So first of all, I just want to say hello to everyone. This is technically like the first real episode. I don't th- what we did earlier was really kind of like bonus footage. So yeah, what you're seeing right now um is the first real episode mm-hmm. um for the podcast. Um this is Dream Lab. Dream Lab is whatever we decide that we want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? The dog is okay. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm really sorry. Jack, he, he has some. I don't know if his paw or his face or whatever is at the door. He wants to come in, but he no. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, this is no. The answer is no. Um, but no, Dream Lab is just whatever I want it to be. It may be a podcast episode, it may be um, improv, it may be um, live episodes because we're going on tour, all that good stuff. So you know, you just, you, is that the handle dance again? Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. No, that's fine. You can do it as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. I'm over too much. I'm not, I'm not exactly <laughs> sure what's happening right now. Um. So anyway, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and thank um, you. continue to watch. So today um, we got a couple different things that we're going to talk about. And um, we just want you to make sure that you uh, stay tuned and uh, comment below. Thank you. So, Kevin, before we get. <laughs> wow. You know, when you yawn, it's not really like you're tired. You're just not getting enough oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they said. It's not that you're tired. You're not getting enough oxygen when you inhale. <sighs> let's, you let's... were a terrible liar as a kid. No. Because you're a terrible liar as an adult. Let's ask Siri again. Hang on. <laughs> 
Hey Siri, why do you yawn? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, could you tired? Siri, why do you yawn? Mine is on. Hang on. Alexa, why do you yawn? What's Some people don't know why to eat an animal's lungs. Some studies say it's connected to the regulation of blood oxygen at your body temperature. I'm about to yawn. I rest my case. I'm pretty sure that's related to you Co-pilot. being tired, though. Co-pilot. <laughs> Captain. <laughs> No, it's no, it's oxygen. <laughs> I don't think it's really tired. Like it's in the breaths that you take, because you don't yawn all the time. You probably yawning because you just more so your body's more so relaxed and your breathing is probably not as heavy as it would be like if you're focused or doing something. Mm-hmm. Like think about it when you're typically at the crib chilling, you're like. Then when you're working, it's like. What? Okay, forget it. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. He, he tried have... to defend it so much. It was good, though. He tried. It was it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. That's wild. So um, I'm not exactly sure why. I-, I went to you to see just how you were. I'm um, good. Yeah. that's Yeah, but you were yawning before I could say anything. And so mm. you sure you good? <laughs> it was a lack of oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm good. Today's a good day. We both have our water. Yes. Not yeah, I. Stay hydrated, kids. Yes, oh, I have water too, yeah, actually. He has yeah. the Gatorade because he's the captain. <laughs> and yes, it's yes. blue like the water. But no, I'm good. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have no complaints. Today. Or the sky. I mean, whichever one he decides he wants to lead the <laughs> captain. <laughs> Either Soul Plane or Carnival Cruise. I'm one not or sure. the other. Bikini bottom. Okay, who lives in the bottom? What, what is bikini? happening, I bro? I I, I said one word wrong. <laughs> and we I, technically didn't say it wrong. It's just in reality, this is we would consider a captain, somebody on the boat. But that's neither here nor there. This can be a boat, and then y'all could be co-captains, right? Yeah. Right, but you call us co-pilots. Co-pilots yeah. just slipped off. It's this. okay. I like co-pilots. I actually do. See? And you, I think you should still be the captain. <laughs> I am. I'm not changing that. That sounds fly, good. We're flying right. above. El Capitan. Um. <laughs> Girl, was that them? <laughs> Did you call them back? Would you leave them people over there? Would you leave them people over there? Did you just summon them again? I thought we was done with them. Ooh. Ooh, they please. <laughs> I'm fast forwarding through all of this. Yeah, we're not even gonna oh tell y'all what that meant. Okay, okay, come on, Jay. Yeah, I'm doing good. I wow. I have no complaints. <laughs> There's Jack's nose. I'm just, oh, sorry. Uh, it's, it's blessing me. I'm drinking my water. I got some mm-hmm. kombucha. Mm-hmm. I'm good. I'm good. What is that? Kombucha is good for um, gut health. It has some type of um, probiotic in it that is really good for the stomach. I really drink this a lot because I got Crohn's, so mm-hmm. it kind of oh, helps okay. my stomach. Which flavor is that? Um, is that the apple one? Yes, pink lady. Okay, so that I've had that one. Yeah, Malik, if you see this, I'm sorry I drank your uh, Oh well. God bless. God bless. All right. Well that thank you for updating us. Um she she need <laughs> Um Christian. Update us. Tell us what's going on. How how are you? How are you feeling mentally, physically? Um emotionally you didn't ask kevin all of these you and then women are more tapped in men be like i'm good <clears throat> physically i feel good hey mentally i feel great mm. you're emotionally. responding like a man <laughs> <laughs> emotionally okay now i will say i had a moment yesterday so my parents uh left for a vacation mm-hmm. and um i for some reason maybe because me moving back home or whatnot i just like love my parents so much i know everybody loves their parents but i just love them so much or whatnot like every time they go out of town i cry so i cried yesterday like when i was giving them hugs before they left really i've never well when i went to iraq for six months i cried six months golly they leaving for six days but (laughs) i still i never heard of anybody crying i me neither is it an emotion thing I, I don't know. Okay. I need to get back in therapy. So mentally, maybe I might be struggling. It's like, no. Oh, okay. you a moment. So you say I you've know. always done that? Kind of. like, Or if they don't give me a hug. Like one time when I was in high school, they went on like a vacation. Mm-hmm. And my dad had to work or something like that. So I didn't see him like the night before or, or the morning. So I couldn't give him a hug. And they were leaving while we were at school. And I had a whole meltdown like... 
I didn't get to see my dad and I didn't get to give him a hug and things like that. Like, I don't know. That stuff is like very serious to me. So I had a moment yesterday. Wow. Do you be thinking they're going to die? I don't, sometimes, I don't know. Maybe. I'm so aggressive. <laughs> it was. was. No, because that's how you had to ask you. Is it more so of a fear of like, they may not come back? Maybe that's what it is. I don't, I don't know. Do you know. have anxiety? I do. I do. Yeah. It's yeah. Okay. Sometimes that will cause us to create. <laughs> To create scenarios yeah. in our head, because I'm pretty sure that isn't the only type of scenario that you scenario that yeah. you've created. Yeah, yeah. She literally, my mom was just asking me to water her plants while she was gone, and just like I was just like, okay, <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. It's just yeah. the while she's gone part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. I would definitely say, yeah. Um, seek help. That's what you're gonna <laughs> say. <laughs> Seek seek help, nigga. Talk <laughs> talk to somebody. Talk to somebody. Sit on somebody's couch, nigga. Talk to somebody. Right. But I really do feel good though. I really do. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> I, well, I'm. I'm. That's that's good. I I get that though. Like yeah. I'm not because uh one thing I think a lot of times as soon as somebody has like something like that, we'll try to quickly diagnose them and immediately try right. to try to make it seem like they're so like we all got something. So like, mm-hmm. thank you for being transparent about Absolutely. that. Yeah. Um, because I, I definitely deal with anxiety and I create scenarios in my head. Yeah. All, I've always done this since I was little and I was, I never really understood where it came from. Mm-hmm. Um, you a quiet anxietist. Anxietist? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I wouldn't believe it. I'm very I mean, quiet. I'm like a cat. It, so when I, yeah, and yeah, I, I could be, I can be completely wrong, but hear me. I've, I've heard this statistic. I've heard that cats, um, when, if they're hurt, they will go like to themselves, like in a corner and be in pain like without without making a fuss basically i think i'm talking about cats i could mm-hmm. be wrong I mean, it but makes sense. but i i know i'm like that so if some if i'm i'll deal with it by myself like i'm not going and mm-hmm. i'm not saying like hey bro so this is just what i'm dealing with and then it's just and i know i know i know mm-hmm. i know but mm-hmm. i just i you know just it's that i think that's the, the part that i deal with is like it's hard for me to like seek help yeah. do you do um, it now I feel um, like we talk so now because i've seen the benefits of having community it's still difficult Mm -hmm. but i mean i i definitely still like i know that you know and and because you know being married like especially being married to someone that you know you can talk to so you know it you i'm i'm used to now just being like hey you know what i'm talking about like naked meat on soft like having the full like having like having a, a heart to heart and I don't feel no type of way. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Actually, like, yeah. like that, like I wasn't always that open. You see what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And it's still moments where I'd be like, oh, I don't know if I could talk about that right now. Mm-hmm. And then she'd be like, nigga, what's wrong with you? And I'd be like, well, because you. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I feel that. Mm-hmm. I feel that. I definitely feel that. Thank you for being transparent. Thank you, Drake, for being transparent. You're welcome, bro. I, I was um, getting there. No, I was telling myself that. Uh, you you can go ahead though. This Thank your you time. For Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for Dre. Thank you, God, for Dre. <laughs> Thank you, Dre, for being transparent. God bless. You're welcome. Um, Jax really wants to be in here. He'll be oh, all right. He's our under the door he's our live spin. studio audience. Jax has his paws up under the door. <laughs> um, well, um, I you? I'm you? no, you didn't. How are you mentally, emotionally, <laughs> physically? You know how's your you know toes how's your my head? toe my toes are good um okay. i lotioned up today because i knew we had like content to do and i knew my we feet weren't going to be in the content but whoo. you lotioned your feet so yeah um i definitely lotioned my feet um i was you know content i didn't think that you know y'all were going to see my feet but i want to make sure they were lotioned something about making sure that you're moisturized it does something to you like mm-hmm. and maybe y'all used to it because y'all moisturize your bodies often I'm not, I'm assuming maybe you don't maybe you just be ashy when you're not around me I don't know it, you itch you don't like yeah really itch. I got yeah no and I hate that feeling I hate that feeling yeah. but I it's never been and I'm just being honest most men most men don't moisturize themselves mm-hmm. every day why though like is it because it's nigga mm-hmm. it's 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 what's attached to it. What's the what? the be- like a feminine yeah it's like being uh, feminine like like it, i've heard conversations where like dudes be talking about they don't spread their cheeks when they wash their ass i'm like oh so you just got critters i said excuse ex- what excuse me you don't just like you don't, take the towel and brace it ex- excuse me and half do of you us wipe got yourself? hair down there what's going on ex- excuse right? me? do you wipe your well you know some niggas ex- don't excuse me i 
What? Some niggas don't. Bro. Some niggas. But don't. here's my thing, and I'm not making this up. There's content. Go on TikTok, like YouTube. They, they they talk about this stuff. And what? But the thing is, is is what society is attached to certain things, <laughs> right? True. So it'll be it'll look like it's oh it's gay, nigga. If you don't spread your cheeks and get in there with some soap and hot warm yeah, like, hot water. That's what I'm saying. Come on, bro. Like everything, and, and, you. I, and I think that's that's what really bothers me. And um, this can actually help us lead go into um, our first mm-hmm. topic: um, boundaries. It bothers me with people, small minded people, like mm-hmm. who say stuff like that. Who every two seconds is pause. I can't stand being around guys who say that stuff all the time. Because what's what's going on? What's going on, bro? That you have to like make like let us know that oh that wasn't gay. After you just said the sixth gay remark, like in the last thirty minutes, pause. Y'all are gay, and you can say that I said it, but I, I have I'm not saying that. He's but what I what I am saying is that's it's, I just feel like it's a waste of energy, bro. It's a waste of energy. Like I'm not about to say that every time. Like I can say something that sounds like if I used it in a, in a sexual conversation, gotcha. it would work. But I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about mm-hmm. anything homosexual. I'm not talking about anything of that nature. I'm talking about. Nigga, dishes. <laughs> I'm not sure how I can you relate it. I was trying to, I was trying to put well, something together, you know, but you, you would say something dumb like, "All right, I need you to come in hard." Pause. Like, you need to come in the song. Yeah, it, like, thank yeah. you for that example because yeah. my mind went blank. Dishes. I couldn't think of uh, anything. Like dishes, I, nigga. Dishes, dishes nigga. I, dishes. I was, tra- I was following you though. I wasn't. <laughs> I lost myself. I was like, "All right, <laughs> you said, I'm done did with you this just one." Say dishes, dishes. But anyway, so with people like that, um, I've learned to set boundaries in my life. Um, mm-hmm. I'm getting ready to be 31. Oh, um, in February. Is, thank you. Yeah, because you're about to be 32. <laughs> so, so I um, <laughs> within the last, I feel like 30 was very like eye-opening right Mm -hmm. it was it it made me like really like just look at a lot of stuff it made me kind of like reevaluate what's important what's not important all that stuff so um as i'm going to 31 i'm kind of like making some some changes like Mm -hmm. i'm 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 like really quote unquote standing on business i hate when you know social media they'll take a t- uh, a phrase and run it in the ground wear it out. i mean what i mean where to get the switch off the tree take the leaves off some word <laughs> pew, 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 pew. across the back pew. and and that 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 bothers me you know so i i, I but but you get what i'm saying standing yeah. on business like yes, when I, I said what i said like i mean this like yeah. I'm I'm not going be, because every time I go back on it, then people are like, oh, yep, they'll do it again. Oh, because remember last time, and it's a slippery slope. Mm-hmm. And you know when slippery slopes just turn into you know a bigger mess. And so you got to make sure that you. What I realize, y'all, is that people don't have like. Okay, most people. I ain't gonna say people. Mm-hmm. Most people mm-hmm. don't have a vision or a goal for their life. Mm-hmm. They don't. They don't have a. They don't see anything. So they kind of just they allow life to kind of like play like tennis with them and it's just like whatever happens happens so you always like up against the wall because it's like oh this happened or this happened and because there's not like a goal or nothing that's set Mm -hmm. so if we don't if we don't set anything then we don't we don't have anything to go towards so then we just kind of like we're like the sims when you ain't got nobody controlling it's just kind of like doing you know yeah yeah yeah. so I, i i i always like I question, like you know, if people, you know, if they, if they, where they are in life, they're not, if they're not happy, I'm like, okay, what goals do you have? What boundaries have you set to make to meet those goals? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, all of that stuff is important. So I, I guess um, I'm opening up to y'all as far as boundaries. Like, what what boundaries have you set in place for yourself, um, for your goals, whatever it is, in what genre or arena? <laughs> Y'all can flip a coin. I um, I'm I guess Kevin won. I just, I just learned what boundaries were with going to therapy. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what they, what they were, and that I allowed people to run over me in a lot of instances. Um, so as a person that's still developing boundaries, I think the biggest one that I've set for myself is certain things I'm not gonna do. Because of who I am. Mm-hmm. Like, because of what I represent and because of what I believe in, mm-hmm. 
it's just certain things I had to I had to set boundaries and I'm still setting boundaries on what I'm not gonna do. Like what I'm gonna stand for and what I'm not gonna stand for. Yeah. Um even with like relationships and friends, I, I'm still learning the boundary of what to tell people and what not to tell them. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes I can be such an open book and I don't care. And it's like, well, no, you really don't owe people an explanation. Like, mm -hmm. where do you set that boundary? Like, if I said this, this is it. Right. Like, I'm not going beyond this point and I'm not letting you beyond this point into mm -hmm. my personal mm -hmm. space. And that's even with, for, um, with my parents. Like, now that I'm older and I'm out of the house, it's, it's just a certain boundary I'm not going to allow you to cross. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm a grown a man. Mm -hmm. Ass, ass. Grown ass man. I'm ass, not, ass, I'm ass, not, ass. <laughs> I'm weak. Ah, I'm not, I'm I always not wanted a moment in life to put that in there, and I just found it. I just no, found it. You can cross that off the Sean. list. I, then, yeah, I, just, I don't know. I just, I'm still learning them, but I definitely have boundaries with people. Like, But I, I think the boundaries that I've had to set have had to be for me, mm -hmm. not more so for them. Mm -hmm. Like, I had to make a decision. Like, you're not talking about certain things with certain people because they have not deserved they have not earned that access to mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm, so in mm -hmm. order to protect you, your peace, and listening to everybody's opinion about your stuff, I had to set a uh, boundary and say, no. Like, you're not talking about this with them. You're not going to discuss your relationship or where you are with them because that's your personal business. And it's mm -hmm. just a healthy boundary for me. Yeah. Was it like a particular um, event that happened that made you like realize that you had yes to we went to um that's a good question we went to the thing yeah. where, we, where did we go when we hung out with all our friends like queens bar we hung out with all our friends and basically me and my ex had not seen each other in a while and we somehow got on the topic of why we weren't together and i just felt like everybody was asking me questions and then asking her questions and it was just like like why are we like why how are we do talking we talking about this? I don't want to say why are we talking about this because I never I don't mind my friends talking about it, but I had to I knew then I had to set a boundary. Because mm. yeah. like I don't mind talking about it. Well, it's timing and place, and I may not want to talk about that with everybody. Right, right. And was it a so it was basically like a trickle down effect to every other relationship as far as setting those boundaries as well? Yes, then? because mm -hmm. I had to understand again my boundaries are more so for me to protect my peace. Mm -hmm. And to be in tune, like you said earlier, to be in tune with my body to mm -hmm. know, or my body and my mental to know, can I handle talking to them about this or mm -hmm. are they going to run their mouth? Mm -hmm. Or is it even going to be healthy for me to talk about this with them? Because what, what am I going to benefit from me actually telling you this? Right. And I think about that now often before I say something to somebody like, okay, you call them and ask for advice. Like, do they have any fruit in this area? Right. Mm -mm. Don't waste your, don't, you waste your wanna, don't, don't waste your don't waste your minutes. No, so mm -hmm. and they free, but you know, mm -hmm. my no, mine ain't free not. until after nine and on the weekend. So I'm definitely not wasting. <laughs> what type of phone you got? Track phone. God, <laughs> to be more careful. So but no, I think my my boundaries have been more so for me, and like I said, even with going certain places and doing certain things and being around certain people, it's like, nah, bro, like. I still got to protect my name, my nigga. Yeah. I can yeah. do everything. Yeah. yeah. So my boundaries are for me. What about you? Um, The biggest, and kind of like you, I'm still working on how to effectively set boundaries because in my recent experience with, I'm gonna keep on bringing up the divorce because that's like that's the experience for mm -hmm. me. And that's and that's okay. That's okay. Don't don't feel because sometimes you just yeah. have that thing that you have to use as an example right. in that yeah. season. So go ahead. I'm yeah, sorry. but that that's my example or whatnot. But um, with that that showed me how much boundaries I lacked or how mm -hmm. much I didn't set any boundaries, and that is what caused part of the reason that I ended up in the situation that I did. So with me, one of my biggest boundaries. And I found that I'm standing on it. It's like, if it's anything or anybody that d will disrupt my peace, mm -hmm. I don't want any part in it. And it sometimes it still does kind of take me a minute. I kind of like to, you know, give people the benefit of the doubt or situations the benefit of the doubt and keep trying it here and there. But I don't give it as many chances. Mm -hmm. So that's like an improvement, you yeah. know, like I don't give you as many chances to keep on playing with me. Like you're right. not going to keep playing in my face. Um, but also when I, I like say what I mean and I mean what I say. Yeah. And so I feel like that's my biggest thing and realizing what 
um, capacity I have to deal with things and with people in this situation. So mm-hmm. if I don't have the capacity to talk about it or, you know, hear what you have to talk about or anything like that, I can communicate and say, hey, I understand you're going through, like, I'm praying for you, I'm here for you, but right now I don't have the capacity to mm-hmm. take on your stuff and mine right now because yeah. right now I'm going through it. So if that's wow. a boundary, that's mine. <laughs> Listen, and I think, um, cause I, I do want to ask you both something. So I, I, but let me get to this point. I think that, um, a lot of people, when you set your boundaries, people don't understand like family, close mm-hmm. friends, they don't get it. They're just like, I, I just don't understand, Be, but I'm, you know, I had to deal with family like that. And it's just, it kind of gets like, I, you, you question yourself, like, am I being, am I being a jerk? Like, mm-hmm. I'm, you know, am I being, mm-hmm. but as at the same time, it's just like, bro, you'll never get to what it is that you're trying to get to mm-hmm. if you don't set these boundaries. People are eventually are going to have to figure it out themselves. You can't yeah. be Captain save a every time. And I call yeah. it in your family or friends hoes. I was just using are. that as a. Okay. Some of them are. Punk <laughs> hoes. <laughs> Oh, mighty God. No, but no, at the same time, it's just like people don't understand, but it's not necessarily for them to understand. I think if you respect somebody, if you love somebody, when they set a boundary, even if you don't get it, even if it doesn't make sense to you because you love them, you will allow them Mm -hmm. to, to, to set that boundary and you will respect it. And anybody who can't respect those boundaries, family are not like they lose access to you. I'll never cut you off like to the point where you can never like you'll never see me again but as far as lose access to me like you you you're not gonna see me all the time you can't come to my house yeah yeah my house is a sanctuary is this is this is a sacred place Mm -hmm. like i i have boundaries and as i get older i'll be like oh nigga i need some boundaries right there because i didn't know you know i oh i need boundaries over here because i didn't know that Mm -hmm. like you got to make sure that you are aware have a goal have a vision know where you want to go and set boundaries to make sure that nothing stops you from yeah. meeting the goal. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And especially when you've like experienced a certain level of just like, I would I would say hurt. I want to have a bigger word that has a little bit more oomph in it. But once you uh, experience hurt is enough, nigga. Yeah, I guess hurt, so. hurt be hurting. Right. It do oh. be hurting. But like once you experience that certain level of hurt and lack of like peace and stability and things like that, like. You're so determined and intentional with never being in that place again. So, like, me, I'm so determined. I will never, ever be in the place I was before. So, I'm just, like, anybody that comes into my life, friendships, relationships, and things like that. Because it wasn't just my relationships that were trash. Mm. It was friendships, too. Things Mm. with, you know, friends and people I thought were my friends or that I called my friends. I was just like, wait a minute. That's so interesting. Yeah. That's so interesting. But what I've realized in life... what you have Mm -hmm. is a reflection of you. Mm. So if your relationships are, are shitty, so are probably your friendships, Mm. probably Mm. your job, probably your credit. You see what I'm saying? Because it's all a reflection of you. Once you start to really build on that self worth, then you'd be like, Oh no, I'm not dealing with that. You Mm -hmm. gone these friends. And that's, we start making them change. You can Mm -hmm. cutting hair and changing Mm -hmm. hair color and Mm -hmm. moving and all of that stuff because it's like, Oh no, anything that reminds me of that. And it's like mm-hmm. I get what you're saying, like that 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 hurt, like, but at the same time, a lot of times people they will say, Oh, this I'll never get back in that situation again. And they'll be so focused on not getting in that situation mm-hmm. again that they never get in a better situation. They miss out. Because they miss out. Yeah. Because our focus, because of hurt and trauma, mm-hmm. our focus will then always be on the hurt and the trauma. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Versus yeah. it just being on like, okay, well, this is what happened. This is what I learned from it. Now, this is what I want. I know what I don't want, mm-hmm. but I can't focus on what I don't want. I got to yeah. focus on what I want yeah. or it's not going to happen. And that's the saying that I saw. It said, like, the trauma wasn't your fault, but your healing is your responsibility. Absolutely. And so, so for sure. And people stop taking accountability. Yeah. And so then when people don't take accountability, those are the people that you bump heads with when it comes to your boundaries. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because now it's just like, I don't understand why you, well, that's because you never, mm-hmm. that ain't got, that don't have shit to do with me. Mm-hmm. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, it's, it's, it's different over here. This grass, this grass is, 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 is fed different manure over here. Like mm-hmm. I don't, that's the best example I could give in that moment, but it makes sense though. Yes. Grass. Okay. Some okay. uh, that, uh, for <laughs> a lack of a better word, you see organic, what I'm saying? I've already baby. said it three times, but whatever. Dookie, I love it. <laughs> organic dookie. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> but at the end of the day, just make sure, and that's going to be my favorite segue, just in case I forget where I'm going Um, at the end of the day. That's the mm-hmm. segue. Um, 
at the end of the day, <laughs> you just got to make sure that you set those boundaries. Make sure that you stand on the boundaries. Make sure that you have a goal and be so focused on that goal. Like eliminate anything that's going to distract you. You have to be focused. When I when we did the project, refocused, writing those songs. I man, I didn't know like what I was walking into. I'm I'm. It's funny how life works. Like, if you ever go back and look at the stuff that you used to s- recite, the stuff that you used to sing, the stuff you mm-hmm. used to watch, the it, the stuff that you places you used to go, yeah. a lot of that has to do with where you are in life. And so some of the songs I was singing, I was like, bro, I didn't realize that this was going, I was going to experience that mm-hmm. later on. And I, I mean, I th- now this is good stuff. I ain't talking about nothing bad because I, I, yeah. I'm very careful what I listen to, but like, you, you just have to make sure that all of that stuff is guarded. All of it is guarded, not just because you want to be this perfect person, but you have a goal and you have a vision that God gave you like, mm-hmm. nigga, go for it. Yep. Mm-hmm. All of it. All of it. All of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All of it. So um, with that being said, um, I think we're good on boundaries real quick. So let's just kind of like change it up just a tad bit while we got a few minutes um, left. We kind of talked about our main topic. Um, anybody, y'all know any... Uh, small businesses or anything like that you want to shout out i want to do this like every episode to shout out like a small business or two Mm -hmm. um just to make sure you know we can send some people their way and all of that because i think that's really really dope and we're a small business so i got one right now you see these brows i want you to zoom in onto the brows your brows are so sharp listen my best friend perry's brows brows. shut up Yeah. Oh, how you? Me. How do you think we have a podcast studio now? I've been doing brows for the last six months, bro. Go off. Okay, that and shoveling snow. Mm. Draylon, shut up. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> anyway, mm. and shoveling. anyway my brows okay you see my skin's clear everything like that d's brow magic she's an esthetician um she does brows she does a lash um like tinting and things like that various different services for skincare and all that stuff so go follow her on instagram and facebook d's d-e-e-s we'll put it on brow magic boom yeah, make sure that y'all go follow for to get your brows done and if you want me to do them i'll do them cheaper Run! <laughs> Shout out to Von Lee. Period. Von Lee. Von yes. Lee. I got to get my bag. That's our friend my Asia body. Franklin. Um, Asia is is super dope. Um, if you if you've ever followed anything I've ever done, if you've ever seen any of my graphics, flyers, stuff like that, mm-hmm. Asia. Asia. She's she's Asia. dope all the way around. Um, and so, yeah, we want to definitely had to shout her out. And um, so, yeah, that's just for this episode. We'll have more, um, you know, small businesses that we're going to shout out. Um, we thank you all for watching this episode regarding boundaries. We've got more episodes coming. This is Dream Lab Podcast. You got Kevin Stewart. We have Christian Bentley. My name is Draylon Perry. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share. Um, do all that good stuff that you do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that that quick. Yep, it's going to take some getting used to. Um, But thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next week as we drop episodes every week, nigga. Bye.